Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, JC, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about an apparent rumor or leak, I guess you could say, about Black Ops 3 story information. Now, I know what you're thinking, am I talking about Solaris? Well, no, I don't really believe in Solaris anymore, guys. It was apparently just a hoax uh, to fool people. If something like that happens in Black Ops 3 or anything that sets us back in terms of technology, that'd be really awesome, but I doubt it at this point. Now, this information actually comes from a source that apparently leaked information about Black Ops 2 years years ago and was right about the multiplayer trailer and things like that. Now I'm going to leave a link in the description below to the video that talks about this source, uh, but I wanted to cover this as well because I feel like not a lot of people have been talking about this and most people have actually been freaking out thinking that Treyarch is going to do exosuits. But I wanted to go ahead and talk about the little information that we might possibly have here. So apparently to this source or from this source, the game is set in the 2030s. Now that would make sense from what we're seeing. It's a little bit past Black Ops 2's timeline, which is cool. And apparently we're playing as EVOs or Evolved Variable Operators. And these are basically the Black Ops 3 soldiers. These are the Black Ops soldiers of the future. And instead of being just a normal human, you know, with guns, we're basically like a machine. I mean, we have our brains synchronized to these robotics and we have a combat skin with all this augmentation and things like that. It's not an exosuit, it's literally augmentation and things that turn us into a cyborg. It reminds me so much of Master Chief, it's ridiculous. I know I've said that before in another video, but it really, really does. Uh, now, the thing you guys will probably be most excited about if this is true, if this is true information, is apparently that the robotics of these Black Ops soldiers are different to the exosuits in Advanced Warfare. There's still advanced movements, but double jumping is removed completely to give the game that traditional run and gun style. Now, if that is absolutely true, that would be insane because I I really hated the double jumping feature in Advanced Warfare. It's not that I hated it, but it really got annoying when everyone's just flying into the air. It would have been a lot better if we didn't have that double jump feature and we could just boost around and stuff, kind of like Halo 5. Halo 5 is perfect, by the way. And that's apparently the route they're going with in this game. Apparently there will be dashing and sliding, uh, but there will not be a double jump or things like that. And it doesn't, it doesn't make clear if we can boost really quickly and boost two times or if we only have like one boost or something. I would really like to have only one boost that we can use like every five seconds or so because I, I just like having one boost. It makes it way more, it makes you way more careful with the boost and only use it when you need it, uh, aside from just boosting constantly like Advanced Warfare. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all the information that this source has given out. It's really not that much, but if it's true and we don't have vertical jumping or vertical uh, double jumping, then I would be really, really happy about that because I feel like the maps, the maps in general lost uh, their feel because it doesn't really matter about the maps because everyone was just in the air constantly. I mean, the map design just goes out the window with all this verticality and things like that. I know verticality was a huge thing uh, last year. All games want to have verticality, but sometimes it's a bad thing. I'd much rather have the traditional run and gun style uh, going horizontally on a map. That's just me. But what do you guys think about this information? Do you think it's true? Do you think it's false? Uh, do you actually like the idea of not having double jumping? Do you want double jumping? Uh, do you even like the idea of having boosts and things like that? Or maybe just one boost? Well, however they decide to do it, I don't know. Uh, but again, this could all be completely wrong, so don't hate on Treyarch for anything. Uh, if anything, though, I'm really happy that there's no exosuits in this game, and this might be uh, just robotics on our guys, which is awesome. And I can see uh, Treyarch going a different route from Advanced Warfare. It only makes sense to me. So I hope this is all true, uh, because it really does look promising to me in my eyes, and I cannot wait to see what Treyarch does with a reveal trailer coming up very, very soon. So what do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Do you believe in this information? Uh, I don't know. I'm not, I don't know. I'm, I'm completely, uh, I, I don't want to believe in anything anymore, guys, especially after Solaris. So I'm just going to sit here idly by and see what you guys think. So tell me in the comments below what you think. This has been JC, and I will see you guys on the next video. Have a good one.